Hello everybody. Glad to see you here for art class. This week we are going to be drawing bobcats. Let me show you this one. I made it out of clay. I'm working on painting it. Well, uh, our project this week comes from this little card right here. Let me show you that. Um, these cards will be sent out by the school uh, to your all's homes. And basically they'll be notes from your teacher. And like, good job, we believe in you positive things and um, as we're getting those printed up school thought it would be a good idea if we could include some student artwork on the front something that had to do with positivity our school bobcats paw print so what we're going to do we're going to do a contest this is going to run for uh, the elementary grades K through 6 the high school will have their own card but uh, what I thought I'd take the opportunity to do is take one of our lessons here, uh, go over how to draw a bobcat. Again, for your contest entries, they don't have to be necessarily a bobcat, but that would be a good time to kind of review on how to, how to draw a bobcat. If you guys remember, it's really similar to our lesson on how to draw cats. One of the things I've noticed is just kind of like if you take your bobcat and kind of give them some long sideburns, so, uh, let me start here. You might even kind of think about the personality you want to give your bobcat, what kind of uh, expression you, you want to ha them to have. So I always kind of start off, just like we did with the cats, with the triangle nose, kind of upside down there. Do the W here for the mouth. I'm gonna make the mouth open so we can kind of have some teeth. And kind of do the teeth, the triangles too. I kind of do like kind of diamond shaped eyes, but it's kind of like a squish, like, well, I guess they kind of look like lemons more than a diamond. You can kind of come down and put a line through the eye, give it a kind of cat eye. Here. Okay, let's see. Now for the sideburns and kind of like all the uh, whiskers and things on the side, like right here, I usually start out with kind of like, you can make these really sharp. I'm going to see how it kind of looks like a letter M that's been turned on the side or like a really Sharp number three. So they're really long here, but kind of when it gets to the chin, they're a little bit shorter. And you might even kind of change their direction. You do the same thing on this side, just kind of make them long. The ears are kind of do diagonal. The triangle shape again. I think I'm going to do some eyebrows though first. I'll kind of just do some lines there. Kind of like to point them down. Triangle here. One thing that really helps it look like a bobcat too is you can kind of add some some stripes, different different colors. texture here. You might add a couple whiskers. And again, depending on the kind of line that you use here, uh, bobcats are all going to look a little different. Like um, I can do the same thing off to the side over here. And if I just kind of wear, this is kind of like a jagged line. If I kind of maybe use more rounded lines, It'll give a, a different expression. Like I'll use uh, for the sideburns here, I'm using kind of like a really curvy line. It's almost kind of like a Dr. Seuss outline. I 
think this is going to be one of those lessons where um, it's going to be really awesome to see all your old uh, drawings because they're all going to turn out a little different even though we're kind of all doing the same thing. Even though I kind of followed the same steps, I have like a different bobcat that kind of looks maybe a little bit more cartoony, a little bit more friendly. You can also, for your, uh, your postcard, like I said, it doesn't have to be a bobcat. It could be anything that kind of associate with school. It could be um, kind of like a paw print even. You could do something maybe like uh, something like a picture of the school, maybe thinking about the new school that they're going to build, teachers, apples, anything that you can kind of think of that you would like to put on the front of the card. Um, we'll be doing these in class. If you'd like to, uh, if, you're, if you're home and you're remote and want to do this, you can email me your drawings. My email is c. Haskins, C H A S K I N S, at greenbobcats.org. I'm really looking forward to see what you guys come up with and uh, looking forward to kind of helping pick a winner for the postcard contest. You guys have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.